Hey Cup and welcome here at Funk It Pod 2023. The one, the only, still in the house, still complaining about stuff. <laughs> and the one thing I pick on right now is the MMA media. Because, hey, let's be honest, we haven't had a fight yet. Um, we had the MMA awards. I, I'm not done listening yet. I'm like the MMA awards by MMA, MMA fighting, Ariel Helvani and so on. I'm not done listening yet. Um, I've seen some posts. Uh, but it's been like 3,000 awards that, that they gave out again, so I'm not done yet. <laughs> um, and the one thing I wanna, I felt like really talking about is just like how the MMA media handled the Dana White situation. Because, like, I mean, and yes, and so Ariel said like um, his, his thing and fine, it's personal for him and whatever, yeah. But he said that MMA media, if, if you can't find media that's talking about it, then you're not looking closely enough. Yeah. But it also shows you that the mainstream, oh God, starting January, the new year with mainstream media bashing. The mainstream, the mainstream media, as well as the mainstream MMA media, is not talking about it. And that the fact that I have to follow like certain journalists that are not affiliated with ESPN, ESPN or whatever to get some news is rather ridiculous, right? If this would have, and Ariel made the point himself, so like kind of refuting himself a little bit, mean, like in this case, because if it would have happened in the NBA, NFL, whatever, in football, soc soccer for the Americans, in, in any, any league around the world, right? It would have been all over the news. It would have been on ESPN, it would have been on the normal mainstream news. And Ariel made the point himself, he's like, he said, well, it's because they don't take MMA seriously. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, 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 that's the thing. And so oh, the fact that I, like that the MMA media takes itself seriously as they should, but the fact that then I as a consumer, as a fan of the sport, would have to search for a certain journalists that would cover MMA in a certain neutral way kind of sucks, right? So there's no major news outlet talking about it. If I haven't seen it, please do correct me, but there's ob obviously no Brett Okamoto, ASBN talking about it, obviously not. There is, um, I haven't seen, there, there's no, no Mac Live talking about it. Um, I mean, he, he, I mean, he never does like opinion pieces, but, but you, I think you can guess where I'm going with this, right? There's, no, none of the outlets that's usually in attendance at the pressers is talking about it. That's just that's just ridiculous. And do I think like it, it? It's not even about like what I think. Do I think Dana White should get cancelled? Probably not. Like I mean, second chances, blah blah. Um, but it's just disappointing <laughs> from a content creator's point of view from a person that works in the media from a person that teaches about ethics in the media <laughs> it's just really disappointing it's not surprising but it's disappointing i think that that's that's basically the gist of of all of what i wanted to say about this because of course i understand why no one's talking about it you want to keep getting invited to the pressers get your preferential treatment if you're nice to him now he's gonna thank it uh, thank you for it later and I understand all those things, but on the other hand, it's still like, isn't it kind of like your responsibility towards your audience to cover what is happening, to shine a light on what's happening? Ah, it's really sad slash disappointing. Um, also sad slash disappointing, while again, same, same arc here, not surprising is that, of course, no fighter comes out to say anything about it. Ex-fighters, retired fighters, like, oh God, I, I can't believe I'm quoting or I'm not quoting, I'm, I'm referring to Jake Shields here of all people. But people like him, they come out and say something. They're like, yeah, that's who he is. We're not surprised, blah, blah. And again, I'm, I don't want to bash Dana White's personality because I don't know him. Like, who knows? He was, maybe it was the alcohol, but still, if you're drunk, that's not an excuse, right? So I'm, that's what TMC try to, to do here, like giving him an, an excuse for that. Not saying that, that that's okay. I'm just saying there's no active fighter saying anything, right? There's no active fighter from other promotions saying anything because eventually they all want to work for the UFC again. They want to fight for them. They want to work for them, whatever. 
There's no podcast talking, like no major podcast talking about it. There's no believe you me talking about it, right? There's no, the DC is never going to mention that, obviously. There's none of the people that are, that are making a living out of MMA content Oh God! And no, it's not an Ariel Helvani fan thingy here, except Ariel, because he that ship has sailed. Obviously, there's no one else is talking about it, um, which is which is just annoying. Which is just really annoying. And yeah, the joke that huh, he's promoting slap fighting is kind of funny for a second, <laughs> and also only funny because it looks like the wife was okay, like hopefully, right? Um, but but then again, I mean. The fact that he was that he himself was like lashing out on people that that laid hands on wives slash girlfriends and so on, which is right, it's just kind of kind of ridiculous that it now comes comes back to him. And again, it, I'm not talking about what I think should happen to Dana White. I'm talking about like how the media is covering this, the MA media as well as general sports slash just the media there's nothing out there I learned about it via meme pages on Instagram <laughs> and then I had to look up what happened like what ah disappointing but let me again let, let me know and I'm sorry for starting the new year like this but let me know what you think am I overreacting again is, is, do you think like yeah the MA media should cover fights and fights only and um, it's not their space to, to, I don't know, have like detailed pieces on things like this, but should the normal, the normal mainstream media talk about it? Um, like again, like in basketball, football, soccer, any, in any other sports, this would be mainstream news, right? I even thought for a second that Dylan Dennis canceling the fight is because they told him cancel the fight so people hate on you and not on Dana White. That's that's how far my conspiracy theory goes. <laughs> but but yeah, let me know what you think, right? So um overreacting, do you agree, do you disagree? Um I wanna say I promise, but right now with the developments I can't, but I'm trying for the next MMA Monday or the next MMA take here on the Funket Pod, um I'm gonna try to be more positive. <laughs> And look ahead into a hopefully promising 2023. Let me know your thoughts at Funkitpod on social media, funkitpod at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe, rate this thing so we can reach a bigger audience and have more opinions on on all those things that, 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 that um, we're interested in. Uh, until then, stay safe, take care, keep your guard up. Sawadee Cup. Oh, no.